It's Heath Mulliken at The Gathering 2015. I'm here with a historic couple, and this is the first exclusive interview with the first co-district superintendents. Uh, they're from the Penn, Dur uh, Penn Jersey District, Carl and Anita Eastlack. Um, Carl, let me ask you, this has never been done before, much less with a, with a married couple. How did this opportunity come about for you guys? Well, I was serving for the last two years as district superintendent, and uh, we were sitting one evening with Dr. Lyon, yeah. and uh, she asked, would we ever consider, if the district would have it, yeah. would we ever consider co-leading the district? And it never really dawned on us to consider that. Anita had already been working for the district full-time, right. but this would elevate, uh, of course, her status in the district. Yeah. Uh, and so we, we finally said, tell you what, you know, whatever you and the district leadership if yeah. they feel that this is of the Lord, yeah. then we'll walk uh, walk into that together. Yeah. That was last summer. So, uh, Anita, you're sitting at dinner with Dr. Lyon. What's going through your mind as she's laying out this amazing opportunity? Well, first of all, I was thinking, I think we better check with Carl first. And what would that look like? It was a little overwhelming, sure. Right. And because this has never been done before, what has that looked like? as far as you know you sit down okay you do this I do that how have you guys managed the position of district superintendent working together well our very first conversation we were thinking oh no how do we split up the tasks and it was very helpful for us to have an interview with the Sunbergs who are Nazarene co-district superintendents and they helped us realize that we don't need to be so clear-cut with right. task division but for us to take work as it comes, as well as delineate between our strengths and interests. Yeah. How has um, you been doing this since this past summer? Um, how has it multiplied your ministry as district superintendents? But also, how has it affected your marriage relationship? Well, I can answer the first one right away, and uh, in the sense that. Um, we, we have 76 churches, so uh, we wanted the district, one of our earliest decisions was we wanted the district to feel almost immediately the effect of this and, and the gain from it. And so we decided that rather than visiting all of our churches every two years, which is the old model, that we were going to divide and conquer, and each of us are going to be in a different church every Sunday. Every church in our district will get a visit from a DS in one year, and then the next year we'll just reverse the churches we were in. And that has been couple of decades since that happened in the in the Penn Jersey district and so for us it was a good thing to be able to schedule out in that way and uh, I, I can answer some of the marriage things I think that it's really it's been without skipping a beat actually we feel six months into it seven months into it we feel like we were made for this uh, as a couple it's easier than what we thought it was going to be we yeah. were nervous for a little while thinking oh no I have to step up and not always defer because my natural right. tendency was to always defer and I'm thinking I can't always do that yeah. and he his natural was to always take charge and wow. so on he, and I learn how to defer wow. yeah. right and so it took a lot of communication but what marriage doesn't take a lot of communication right 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 so it sounds like you guys in this process you're growing as leaders and that's just going to raise up new leaders in in your district so we hope so so we're excited to see uh man how this works i'm excited just to talk to you guys uh Penn jersey is such a great district i, I spent some time there hey if you want to know about, more about the East Lacks, you can go to wesleyan.org. All the videos from the gathering are going to be available on there. And so I want to thank Carl and Anita for joining us and for what they're doing. God bless you guys. This is Heath Mulligan from Orlando. We'll see you later.